All right. Good morning, everybody. Good to see you here today. Um, you know, zero emissions NUSA, of course, you know, has a, a very clear objective, which is zero emissions. Um, the specific topic this morning, though, is spending less money on electricity or basically using the electricity system to the, your best benefit. Overall, those goals are totally compatible. Um, but in a couple of cases, there's little variation. So as they come up, I'll, I'll mention those. Um, but one topic I, I will keep coming back to, because everything about energy and electricity and power is complicated by the fact that there's like a hundred different words that people use, and they use them all inaccurately. So if you, if you really want to understand what's going on, just take a step back and think about whether you're using the right words, because if you're using the right words, you're close to being on the right track. Just remember these things. Power times time equals energy, and that equals how much you spend. All right, so there are, there are high power devices, like your jug in the kitchen, draws a lot of electricity, but it's only on for a couple of minutes. And then there are other things which are lower power, but which might, you know, just a, a light somewhere or something like that, but which might be on for hours and hours and hours. And, you know, to decide what you need to pay attention to, you have to remember this equation. It's power times time. Now, when we're talking about doing things that decrease your electricity expense, as Ann mentioned to somebody just now, I could go on for about four hours. So you've got to find out some way to, to organize things. So the way I've organized it is I've listed a lot of the, the key topics in order, and that order is starting with the ones that you can do right now for free or for almost no money that have a big effect. And then we move on down through the list to the things that are a little more elaborate, take a little more effort, maybe you need to spend a little more money or something like that. So I'll just work through those things in the order I think they fall in. I'm perfectly happy for you to interrupt with questions at any point along the way. And as I say, if we get through my whole list of 20 topics, then that's great. Or if we spend the whole time on the first three or four, that's, that's also great because the most important ones come up first. All right? Your electricity bills, how many people here feel like you understand what your electricity bill shows you? A couple, it's possible, it's possible. The reason most people don't is because your electricity bill complies with the legal requirements just barely and otherwise does everything possible for you to make it impo impossible for you to understand what's going on there. There's only two parts on your electricity bill, even though it looks way more complicated than that. There's the fixed part, which is an amount you pay every day you're connected, every day you have a meter, whether you use any electricity or not. That's about a dollar a day. Just a few years ago, it was 20 cents. Um, but that's the $365 a year you're paying plus GST every year just for having a connection. You can't, unless you go all the way off the grid, nothing you can do about that. The other part is your consumption charge, which is how much you pay per kilowatt hour, which is about 20 cents. So if you, you, know, if you use 15 kilowatt hours a day, then that's another $3 per day you're spending on electricity plus the dollar for the connection charge. All right, so that's the thing we, we're mostly looking at here today. Um, some of the things I'll talk about will depend on whether you have a smart meter or not. If you have one of the old-fashioned meters that just spins around, it's got a spinning disk, then that limits what you can do to a certain extent, but not, not that much. Um, and then there's, there's always these figures on your electricity bill about how much electricity people use. It says, you know, 